Peace and blessings, family, Sister Ajali. I feel for the child in this horrible crime, unaliving, that was committed against this woman. Um, I find it very ironic that we who are the public <laughs> are not allowed to use the English language or any language for that matter, the way that it was established, not by the weirdos alive right now, uh, to be used. Um, but when you go to different news sites, you can say what unalive is. I don't know if on my channel I can say, you know, what unalive is because I'm not monetized. So I'm not exactly sure how extensive that rule is, uh, but it actually is a perfect opportunity once again to showcase how we're not created by these pretend owners of the planet. However, neither are cows. Cows are not owned by farmers. It's just that cows will cooperate with farmers and they don't ask too many questions like the swirlers, like, I don't know what they call themselves now. I so don't go to these people's channels, websites. And every now and then, there are persons who will come through. I don't know if all of you are operatives, no? And, and most of you don't even bother because you know it's just not a chance in heaven you are going to get me on your side. That There's no explanation for being stupid as hell that you could put in front of me and I'm going to fall for it, okay? You have to want to be stupid in order to perform like a cow. And so I've had ones who've come up to me and, you know, one sister in particular who's all into the Fukushima. I mean, she knew stuff that I was like, that's great. I don't even explain that much detail because I figure most people won't understand it. But she knew, she knew. And so that's why I think she might have been an operative. But I'm just saying, she came at me with, the, you know, but black men are doing this. And the one, the report I did about the woman who was uh, unalive by this guy right here, and she had the nerve to say that the reason why she was swirling was because of black men. And I'm just like, when you go before the Most High, you cannot be dragging your neighbors in as an excuse for why you f refuse to follow his command, to separate, to not engage with the devil and your open enemies and other nations. It's so clear uh, that the, you, you have no excuse except for the fact that you're happily mooing to this dude right here. So let me read. I Literally, I found this story immediately. I, I, my plan, because today is the first day of our fast, and that always gets me so excited because I wind up freeing so much time not preparing food and not having to wash dishes. And so I dedicate the fast days to just writing. So I got five pages done, which is so wonderful. I was just going to relax. And so I opened up just really despicable daily mail. They, every now and then, they'll have an article. Very rarely, almost never, uh, but they had one where they were uh, highlighting all the female teacher pedophiles out there the overwhelming gargantuan majority of them are white women that is according to the overall nature of white people i'm not saying there aren't black people who are warped out of their mind there are black women who you need to get your filthy disgusting hands off of your nephews or your nieces or whatever the heck because they don't belong to you but I'm just saying, we tend not to do that in the leaping numbers that they do. So that was an article that was on Daily Mail, and I thought and that's a bit of a concession on their part because this spot right here, totally satanic. But devil's got to tell the truth every now and then to keep all of those who want to moo, mooing along. So let me read this for the first time. Woman, 19, goes to meet man, 29, after striking up romance online only for him to unalive her and you could read that yourself 
and he threw the unalived remains into the river. The torso of Cheryl Turner, 19, was found dumped in a Louisiana river in January. On April 23rd, Anthony Hall Holland, 29, was arrested for the unaliving. The pair had engaged in a romantic relationship online before meeting in person. So she thought she knew him. But you don't know him. Why would you be talking to a white boy in the first place? That says just absolutely to a precise target. You don't know who you're talking to. Will every white man do this? Of course not. Of course not. But you're going in there crippled to begin with. With an assumption that all these dudes mean you the best if you've got a predator and they would hunt black you even more so coming at you in these chat rooms and on these online dating sites the ease the ease that he could use to fool you is non-par non-par because you'll make excuses for everything because you are a suck up you're a psycho fan just like the divesters or the swirlers whatever the hell they're calling themselves this week um who never, when I first started doing these shares, I did so because I was questioning. Here I am doing diligent research on man-made radiation. What is it about the trauma we've suffered that keeps people from not taking my word for it, just do the research for yourself. And then you find out, oh, this sister ain't kidding. I should support her in her efforts because the only one doing it and she puts in the work. That's the thing is it's like, I'm not kidding. I'm not joking with you. When you look at other sites that are like, oh, please spread the word and all the rest. No, this is a healing word that can rescue all of us. And so definitely, that's somebody you want to go to 25,000yearscycle.org and support. So finding out about this whole phenomenon of swirling, I knew nothing about it because I live a really satisfied existence with an amazing black man. And all I know are other black couples who, none of them are getting divorces. They've been together and they love each other. And is it all perfect? No, but we exist all over the place. Black family, black family, black family, black love, black. You go to other websites, other social media sites and just put in hashtag black love and you will see volumes of beautiful couples of all ages. So I wanted to know what is the mind of these persons who just assume, and you know, it's not as if she maybe just dated, uh, oh God, creep. I'll get back to him. Maybe. Um, because her daughter is beautifully brown. That's a, that's a nice thing. So she had tried to be in a relationship with a black man. But I would say when it comes to swirlers, they're not good at picking mates. And then they make this general conclusion that that means I should get the perfect white man. Because he's so much more understanding and he's modern and he's not like this brute like the black man no darling there are rules for engaging in a relationship and your best bet if you're following those rules of encountering somebody who's not going to want to unalive you just for laughs and giggles is with your own kind. That goes for every single race on the planet. Once you start crossing racial lines, you got a whole historical madness going on that is going to inform the persona that you encounter individually. And all the stuff in the headlines, I mean, these people are just losing it. They're just losing it. And then you're going to go out there like a cow. And I don't mean that as a pun because she was an attractive woman and there's men out there who they like larger size women. I'm not trying to say that as an insult to this young lady who is not with us anymore. And she has a daughter. 
that she's left behind. Let me see. I don't, you know, I haven't, I'm not reading this. The heartbroken sister wished her twin. Oh, she was a twin too. A happy birthday on April 12th. She would have turned 20. Wow. Our youth are the most vulnerable because that age is where you want to believe in the fantasies. The fantasies are real to you. And especially in a nation as black us are, they know it. Otherwise, they would leave us the hell alone. No, once you study the patterns, you know they are hunting us like nobody's business. I said, soon enough, the uh, NAACP awards or the BET awards, they're going to be hosting those naked, butt naked. Yeah, but <laughs> for the moment, they can't because they know black you and me, we haven't been brainwashed into thinking that that's perfectly respectable. And so they got all these black Women, black men, Kanye, I mean, he looks like something that if it came out of a corner on the sidewalk and it was broad daylight, I would scream and run the other way. He looks like the worst crackhead right out on the corner and him and his keeper, his owner, Bianca, whatever her name is, she looked like a two bit, you know, I can't say that anymore either, uh, but sex worker. Okay, and then he gonna put her in porno movies. Come on, stop. That is all orchestrated. And then they want to make it seem like, oh, Black Kanye is the one who's making her do this. He's a Spengali. No, he's been literally MK Ultra brainwashed out of his mind. He doesn't know up from down anymore. He is literally possessed. But this is what these people do. And so without our nation creating our own narrative as we are not created by the devil, then our children don't have anything to attach to outside of the family at that stage of separation. So they're the most vulnerable to the program and to the nonstop operatives out here who I don't know how many, how many times have I run into these women or these men who will just get ultra caustic about this gender war that's supposed to be having to be black men and black women. When I look at Korea, South Korea, I mean, really, you, you got to do the research. There is such a massive gender war that the lowest birth rate on earth is happening in South Korea. All the Asian nations. Why? Because they're vulnerable to the devil. They worship white people. And the white people came in and did a number on their minds. So their men feel weak as hell. They treat their, they always treated their women like property. But oh my God, now they have no pride, no pride. So that they would want to figure out how to heal their nations. They just want to see how they can heal their own individual self-hatred by being a mockery of what a man is. I'm like, you know, there's too much going on over there for me to get into it. But I'm just saying, we got to be in control of our narrative without a doubt, because Cheryl is gone. And I'm sorry about her being gone. My condolences to her family. I don't mean anything untowards. Don't worry, though. They shadow ban my uh presence up here so much that you'll never see this nobody will ever see this okay but I'm just saying nobody's gonna come out and let you know who these dudes are right the whole thing now is being scripted so that we gotta unalive our ability to think straight so we think that getting out of Blackistan into this dude's vicinity is a hypergamous move only if you are below your own coffin, then that's a step up. But if you're not, mm, all the unaliving in the world is not going to be able to bring you or the love from you that your young ones need back. Please do your research and that will tell you this is not your man. And if you are a black man, the pale chicks, you don't want to be with them either. Even for a booty call. Because there will be a child born. And the things that are happening to biracial babies right now. 
because where you think he came from but a white woman what's happening to him right now echoes what's happening to the divestors and the swirlers and has been happening to them forever all right i love your family oh god i gotta get rid of this guy's face head on over to 25,000 year cycle.org and right on up here you are going to find all you need to build a more life abundant you straight black pride I love you. Peace and blessings.